survivors, it's the immortal Adrian back again. We're here in Ark Survival Evolved. We're on the island and welcome to episode 8. In the last episode, we learned how to tame a dinosaur and a dodo bird. And here's Pa. So, in this episode, we're going to go a little bit further on and we're going to craft a mortar and pestle and start making some interesting resources. So I'm looking a bit hungry down here, have a look at my food is getting down, so clicking the 9 button a few times because I've got some food, I've got some meat, and it goes up pretty quickly. Now, I've got an extra point, I'm going to put that on water, and it looks like we need a drink too. So, now 19 points, we're going to use them here, level 6, the mortar and pestle for 6 points spark powder for three points, the narcotic for six points and that leaves us with four points. So that's what we're going to do in this episode. We're going to make the mortar and pestle. We're going to learn about spark powder and narcotic. So firstly let's just run out here and grab a quick drink. And we're good. Oh and Pa's following us around. Come on Pa. So we're going to set him so that he's not following us everywhere. Disable following. Have you got anything left in your inventory? I think I've taken it all. Right, he's just got his food and he's got an upgrade point. I'm going to put that on speed. Ah, it's leveled up. Now, let's think about this mortar and pestle. We've just done the engram. So here it is down here, it wants 15 hide and 65 stone. Plenty of hide, but we don't have 65 stone. We've got 10. So we'll take the 15 hide and we'll come out here. We can collect a few of these stones just by walking near them and clicking the E key. And we only want a handful, then we can do it this way. We're getting three with each click because I'm up at triple resources. Normally you would only get one and this would take you forever to do it this way. Now there are some rocks here that I could break but I don't want to do that because these rounded rocks are high in metal and when it comes to a time that we need metal we want to attack that with our pick and to get metal out of it rather than attack it with a and hatchet and get stone it's actually a waste of metal so let me just see how we're going here well, I've got 78 stone that's fine there's also a rock over here this jagged rock um, I can and in fact I will Hit that with my hatchet, get a little bit of flint but get quite a bit of stone. Now these rocks and the trees, as you harvest them, they disappear. Eventually they come back, eventually they do respawn. So don't think they're gone forever, they will respawn. A certain distance away, I think it's 15... 15... Um, foundation distances away so all close to your base they won't respawn once you get away a little bit they will respawn so I now have what I need to make this mortar and pestle so right click craft one simple as that once it's up we'll whack it on the ground right click and place and I'm going to put that in this front corner down here there now, if we click the inventory for that, where are we? There we are. It says we've got spark powder, two flint, one stone. So I've got two flint and I've got some stone. And if we right click that, we can craft one. We have two. You get two for each go. So that's spark powder. Now, what spark powder is used for? I'll just get some more flint. I've got no more flint. Okay to go out and chase some more flint. What spark powder is used for is you can use it in fire but more importantly you use it for making gunpowder 
and you can also use it to make stimulant. You mix it with stim berries and make stimulant. I'll take out my pick here and get some flint from here. And you also use it, it's probably at this stage of the game, it's most important usage is in a preserving bin. We're going to make a preserver and this keeps our meat and berries quite a bit longer. I'm not going to be able to run very far because I've just about run my stamina out by chopping that. Oh yeah, we'll get home anyway. So we've got some flint now. Put the flint in and we've still got some stone so we right click we can get 15 spark powder. And also it's good to keep doing this because you see how quickly our XP goes up while we're crafting stuff. We got a couple of bits of metal out of that last little haul too. So we're going to need more metal. When we get to the magic level 20, we're going to need quite a bit of metal. So there's our spark powder. We'll just leave it in there for now. What we're going to do now is we're going to make, if we look in here, there's a folder called consumables. Now, if you don't have it, you might have a different view. And if it's at this view, then it's just the, the engrams there, narcotic. Or if it's folder view, then it's inside this folder. I don't know why narcotics in the folder, but bark powder is not. So consumables, double click that and there's drugs, double click that and there's narcotic. Five narco berries, one spoiled meat. So let's go and see how many narco berries we can come up with. We've got 25 here, we got four spoiled meat there. That's nice. We'll come over here to our mortar and pestle, put the five spoiled meat in there put all our narco berries in there, open that, open that, and we can see this is highlighted now, so if I right click, it says I can make five, craft all five, and it's going to start grinding up some narcotic, and it'll put it here when it's done. And as usual, every time one of these comes out, we get some more points. We've got another point available right now. We're also hungry, so we'll just eat some food. And we're going to put that on stamina because our stamina seems to drain pretty quick. Just going to close this and run out here just quickly and get a drink of water. Now our water and food is up pretty good. So the narcotic is used, we make special arrows, tranquilizing arrows. I'll just put the rest of these stim berries in here. I'll put all the other berries in here as well. And we'll put the hardware type stuff in here. Which is this and this. And we've got 18 points. Let's have a look at our inventory and we'll have a look at our engrams and see what we can spend those points on. What level are we? Okay, we're at level 12 and we can have a bow and an arrow. So let's have that, a bow for 11 points. Now what this is gonna do, because I didn't take the slingshot, the slingshot is a precursor uh, to the bow and arrow. So even though the bow is gonna cost me 11, when I click that, it's going to say we're going to use a total of 17 engram points. Is that okay? That's the 11 here and the 6 from the slingshot. So I'm going to say yes and that's used up all our points. We haven't got enough points for the arrow now. So what we'll do is try and get some more narco berries. We'll just come out here and we'll collect it some fibre and berries and get a few more narco berries because we've got a little bit of spoiled meat and we'll also probably go back to our little rock up the road because there's several ways of gaining points experience points everything you do gets you some points some things you do get you more than others so even collecting you see now we've got a level up even collecting resources will get you some points. 
this is perfect this is just what we needed so I'm just going to dump all those berries that I collected then and I'll keep the narco berry and let's take these two spoiled meat we'll take all of our narco berries even though we only need two we're going to put one two that's ten narco berries the two spoiled meat the drugs and we'll get two narcotic out of that now if we go to our engram points we can now afford Oh, we've got to do the upgrade first. Go to our inventory and spend that upgrade point. And I'm going to put that onto our movement speed so we can move it faster. And now we've got 15. You get more and more as you go down the levels. Or up the levels. Stone arrow. We're going to learn the stone arrow. We also can have the small crop plot at this stage. What else can we have? Cementing paste, that's important, but we're not quite there yet, so we'll stay back here. Standing torch, we're going to take, I think, we, uh, all the water. Now, if we're going to go for a walk, we need the water skin. If we're going to stay around the base, we need the standing torch. We can actually afford both of them. Let's take both of them. Okay, standing torch and the water we will get onto that on the next in the next episode so for now you'll take care and i'll see you again in the next episode